Hey guys, it's Kate. Today we are sitting down and filming a what is in my bag video. I feel like I haven't done this for at least a year, maybe two. This is definitely a YouTube staple, something that I've done on my channel several times over because it's fun and you get a really good sense of who people are by what they carry. So I thought it would be fun to do an updated one as I just got this Coach crossbody bag in the mail two days ago. Coach has a online outlet and they just released this Disney collection that features the Dalmatians, the Aristocats, and I want to say Dumbo are the three that's featured. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. Um, but I saw this blush pink Dalmatian bag and thought it was perfect. They actually had some backpack options as well, but I'm kind of loyal to my Loungefly backpacks, so I thought it would be fun to try a different style, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be when it arrived, but I'm pleasantly surprised by the size and how much it holds. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking so much in the intro because I am working with the setting sun, so if this video does get dark, I do apologize. I normally film with natural light, um, but I do have my bedroom light on, so hopefully it will hold out until I'm done. So the front of this bag, as you can see, features a sweet little Dalmatian. It's got the blush pink leather. It does have a little coach luggage tag of that same blush pink leather. The back has the bottom half of the little Dalmatian, the little back end and a slip pocket, and then this is the other side. So the crossbody strap itself does have lobster claws that just attach to these D-rings on either side of the bag. So they are removable if you just want to take them off and carry it, I guess, as a clutch or a travel bag. That is an option as well. Um, but another feature that I really like about it is the coach print on the underside. So the backpack that featured the Dalmatian, the Coach C was the predominant print on the front of the bag, and then the front flap that kept the bag closed was the blush pink with the Dalmatian. So I liked that on this style, really the blush pink and the dog are the predominant pattern and really what you see and focus on rather than the Coach C print. Um, it is a double zipper, so I'm going to go ahead and start in the first zipper and show you everything that I've got inside. So on this first, in this first zipper, excuse me, the first thing I'm pulling out is an extra camera battery. I like to carry this around with me as I'm filming in the parks. I also have my sunglasses case. This is nothing special. It is just a cloth case, and the sunglasses themselves are Disney sunglasses. So they're a little faux aviator or aviator style, but I like the little mini bow that they have in the corner. And I just think that these are the most flattering style on my face. I have a very oval shaped face. Um, so sometimes the trendy skinnier sunglasses do not suit me well. I like to have the very large oversized styles or the aviator styles. So this is kind of um, my go-to where sunglasses are concerned. Then I have this very sad, almost empty package of tissues. My family and I saw Onward today and I cried throughout much of the movie, <laughs> most of the movie. So mom and I hit those tissues pretty hard. Um, and then the last thing that I have in here is actually this and this is something that I featured in multiple of my what's in my bag videos but it is this little wifey um kind of like a feminine kit if you will um it's got i'll just go ahead and open it up and show you and the sticker from my tissues got stuck on it that stinks um but this bag is actually from charming charlie it is a store that's no longer open so that's a bummer I always carry around a pen. This one is from Walt Disney World's, although the writing on the pen has rubbed off because it's old. I've got some Icebreakers Mints and Candy Cane flavor, so I have these 
from Christmas time that I need to work through and it's already March. That's crazy. I do have a Choose Orlando Health sunscreen stick in SPF 30. So this is really helpful to have as I do live in Florida and I do get sunburned very easily and I am the worst about remembering to put sunscreen on. So I like to have that with me that I can apply to my face or my shoulders while we're at the park. Also have some hand sanitizer. This is something that I carry around all the time anyway, but especially this time of year, springtime, all of the flu viruses are super active. I'm a teacher as well, so I am very much familiar with little 14 kiddos and their germies coming at me, so I like to be prepared. Have some Gold Bond healing lotion. Can never have enough of that. Also have an EOS chapstick. I have probably six different EOS chapsticks all over my house. Um, they're just perfect all the time. Also have a secret deodorant. You don't want to be sweaty and stinky. Can't really do much to prevent the sweaty here in Florida, but you can prevent the stinky. So deodorant is a must. And then the last thing that I have in here is a Band-Aid because you never know when you're going to need one of those and it's wonderful to have on you. So that is all that's in there and that is all that is in my first pocket. So like I said, pretty deceivingly um, small bag and how much you can fit is crazy. Moving on to the second drawer, or not drawer, it's not a dresser, um, second zip pocket. I have an obscene amount of whole earth sugar packets. So every time I go to Starbucks, I don't grab this many. This was just, I kind of grabbed too many and then I went in so I wasn't gonna give up, I guess, and <laughs> just grab as much. Usually I only grab a couple, um, but I like these in particular. These are the Whole Earth Stevia sweeteners, and I like to keep them in my tea station at home, so I'll grab some from Starbucks every time I go to keep my collection at home full. I also have in here this little container, little zip case of hair ties. I think I got this maybe not this Christmas, the Christmas before, um, but it's just got three little scrunchies in here. So if I don't already have my hair up, I can put it up while I'm out if it's bothering me. And then to go with that, I have a little mini brush. So cute. Then I have my card carrier. This is from Kipling. I also have a matching bag in this really fun bubblegum color, but I find that this is just the easiest thing for me to transfer between bag to bag as I switch my bags out. And if I just wanna carry my cards, I love that this has a lobster claw because then I can attach it to a belt loop or um, my keys and then just take that with me and go if I don't wanna carry my purse. I also have in the back pocket here my flower and garden pamphlet. Um, my mom and I went this past Saturday merchandise videos to come and I want to always document what I got at the festivals. Last thing in here, you guys saw this in my what I got for Christmas. I think this is something I got in my stocking, um, but this is actually a utensils kit. So it's got metal straws, fork, spoon, um, chopsticks. Is there a knife in here? Yep, a knife and a metal straw cleaner which is very handy. This actually came with a additional case as well, similar to my sunglasses case, just a little drawstring padded case, um, but it does not fit in the case in my bag. So I have to keep it just like that. And then that is everything in here, the second pocket. The second pocket does have a little drop pocket. I just keep the provided care instructions, as well as the tag, just because I think that it's just fun to kind of look back on the style or if I'm ever providing information to somebody if they like this bag and would like to look at it online, um, I like to have that information. This retailed for $378, guys. I think I got it online for like $160 shipped. So that was a phenomenal savings. I definitely recommend checking out the outlet website. Um, and then the last thing I have just here in the drop pocket at the back is my cell phone. 
Um, you guys have seen I got my Anna and Elsa case for Christmas. Got my fun little pop socket there on the back. And then if you're curious, this is my um, screen saver. What is that called? You know what I'm saying. This is my background. <laughs> um, but that is everything inside my little coach crossbody. I absolutely love it. It's the perfect spring bag. Hopefully this video was not too dark. That sun is almost down. Hopefully my bedroom light was sufficient. But I haven't done a sit down video in a while. I traditionally do a lot of shopping videos here on my channel, which I absolutely love. Do not get me wrong. But I think it's fun to throw in some lifestyle videos in the mix as well. So if you guys did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!